they can truly become. Unsealed case file. Salyut 7, space station. July 12th, 1984. Earth's orbit. In 1984, Soviet cosmonauts on board the Salyut 7 mission encountered what they could only really describe as immense entities out in space that they likened to angels. Salyut 7 is a Russian space station that is in operation between the years 1982 and 1991. They witnessed a strange orange glow. And of course, the nightmare scenario was that this was a fire of some sort. And when they looked out, they found not a fire, but a strange uh, plasma mist. And as this became more easily discernible, they picked out what they believed were seven immense figures, literally the size of, of a 747 aircraft. But many in the scientific community believe that cosmonaut experiments, low oxygen, and other psychological factors may have contributed to a group hallucination. We know that they were conducting medical experiments of some kind. We don't know the details, so it may be that that was a factor. Also, of course, we know that fluctuations in uh, pressure and in oxygen might affect the uh, brain. Russian mission control is optimistic that when a second crew arrives, the situation will resolve and they will get some answers. What was particularly intriguing about this incident was the fact that a few days later, three further cosmonauts arrived at the space station and they witnessed exactly the same thing. This strange orange glow recurred and again, these entities, whatever these things were, reappeared. What exactly did the cosmonauts of Salyut 7 actually see? Now, in terms of witnesses and reliability, cosmonauts are just about as far up the scale as you could get. These people are highly trained professionals with absolutely nothing to gain and probably an awful lot to lose by coming out with a story like this. So when these people say that this is what they saw, I mean, this really is, to the best of their recollection, what happened. Russian space authorities dismiss the cosmonauts' reports, but many in the UFO community see their story as yet another form of an alien encounter. Looking at the Salyut 7 sighting really shows us, I think, the huge variety of things that people see. But I think when you look at the whole range of witness statements, it's readily apparent that, that there's such diversity. Uh, robot entities, AI probes, uh, aliens, angels, uh, you know, huge structures. Uh, they, they, you know, it poses the question, what might be out there? And I think the answer to that question is not just one other life form, but a whole range of them. There's a whole cosmos out there, and likely it's pretty crowded with a huge variety of life. Many in the UFO community believe that the sheer vastness of the cosmos, combined with the huge variety of eyewitness descriptions of extraterrestrial contact, all point to the existence of advanced alien civilizations, and it's only a matter of time before we discover them. But how should humanity react if we are the ones being contacted by a more advanced life form? If we discover we're being watched and extraterrestrials 